Okay, I literally just fast traveled. Where'd he go? There he is. And there's a level 5 kudu standing down here. I just shot the diamond buffalo, which was probably in a different video. But, yeah. It was about the end of their drink time. Lions are about to start. And I was going to chill here and wait till lions started drinking. And there is... Wherever he went, that guy. Just hanging out. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to get him to come in, because they were going to his zone. And they don't like to leave their path when they're heading to his zone. So I may take him with a 7 mil. Just because I don't think he's coming in. So we'll do that. I mean, we have two diamond cutie with the bow, even just recently. Nice. I don't know if that was a hard shot or what, but yeah. Had to do it. Had to uh, get him. You know what? What female kudu do I have in the other multi-mount? If this guy makes diamond, which I think he will, I think he's the bighorns. I guess I'll do another multi-mount. I'm thinking I have the red-brown. And I have a dusky with the melanistic. So if he makes it, I think I want to get like a gray. Because they kind of look like the dusky, but a little less prominent. So it would be like just a bit of contrast. But I didn't even... Like, I think there was maybe a decent looking three or a four in here. And I thought I was respotting it when I went to look at this one. I don't know. What are we looking at? Yeah, nice size diamond. 33.3, 102.59 kilos. 1.3 above. And a hard shot with the 7 mil. So, yeah, I would have taken that one uh, with the bow, but... That clearly would have been quite the task following them around. And the wind was bad. It was going to be difficult uh, to begin with. But that'll be another nice multi-mount if I can find the female kudu I want. But I don't know. It'd be really cool to get an albino. But for now, is that a gray? I can't tell, like, really well to begin with I think it's normal oh boy all right um well there's that one you know what <laughs> for now we're gonna go with that uh we'll make a multi mount out of it and then eventually hopefully we can find like a rare female and uh do that because i do want to do a different multi mount but for the time being we'll do another one of the same thing i mean when you can kill them out of the same herd in the same video Honestly, what, a minute and a half apart or whatever it is? I think we gotta go with, uh, go with that. It actually may make sense, now that I'm just thinking about it. Maybe since they were in the same herd, I should leave them together. And I should, uh, change the other one? The other, uh, female kudu we have? Get on the hunt for an albino or a gray or whatever. I think that's what I want to do. Just, I realize it's a game and everything, but that's kind of a thing that would probably be done in real life if they were shot out of the same herd or shot together mounting them together that just that makes too much sense so i want to see where i hit her because i thought i shot her too far forward i may have got her in the neck nah double one actually pretty good i think that buffalo is still chasing me I'm gonna use the most effective method of getting rid of it hi We'll just get that taken care of. If I'm not mistaken, that right there is what we're looking for. And I actually think that one may be a gray as well. But I really wanted to get like the variety because we have the Dusky Kudu with the Melanistic. We have a Red Brown with our other diamond. And just to do something different, I wanted to switch it up and get a gray for... Uh, actually, it's going to be for the other diamond now because we're going to keep the Red Brown with the newest one, but they're feeding, so... Not gonna be lifting their heads anytime soon. But hopefully that's a gray. It's a little more difficult to tell, like, for one, it's early morning here on Berhanga, so that kind of makes it a little darker, more difficult to see, plus the rain, which... Naturally, you know, one time where I'm trying to see really faint colors, it's gonna be the, like, 1% of time that it rains on this map, and of course it's already done, so... That wasn't my best timing, but... Let's see, is that actually a gray? It wasn't a dusky, and it wasn't the uh, the common. I'm pretty sure that is. That's what it looks like, so 
Pretty sure we got that accomplished. Yeah. Almost missed the vital check. Not that that would have mattered on a female, but... I think that'll be good. Like, it's... It's definitely different. And I think there's plenty of contrast there with the common that it'll look good alongside that, so... That's pretty much exactly what I wanted. So yeah, I just had to mount these two together in this multi-mount, because the fact they were in the same herd and we shot them, like, minutes apart, it just made more sense to do it that way. And he's actually a bigger diamond as well, so I moved this multi-mount to here. And the other diamond kudu, which we did actually have sitting there, is actually back in another room, because as much as I love those multi-mounts, and as much as it's really useful that they do go on those, like, smaller platforms, we're actually running out of them, so we're actually starting this room over here, which right now is the only thing I have in here. But eventually we'll get stuff up on all these plaques, like, a lot of them are the bigger ones, so there's plenty of uh, different things we can do with that. But I thought this kind of showed the contrast the best, like the fact that she's a little more red and all that, just like having her standing that way. I thought that looked pretty good, and eventually with the other stuff around here, I think this room could actually look pretty cool. But yeah, we have three of those uh, Kudu multi-mouse now, and honestly, it's kind of one of my favorite things that we did this one out of the same herd, because I think it's the first time we've done that. And I just think it's really cool. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.